Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Black Butler, Chapter 134. Um, we last left off, we were continuing with our flashback uh, up until we saw a little bit of Real CL's reaction to RCL's desire to be a toy maker. Um, and then we cut straight to the 10th birthday that leads into um, the cult happening from way back in the beginning of the series. And that's kind of where we left off. Um, Tanaka said he'd come for them at like 6 p.m. And it's now like 6.45 and nowhere to be seen. And that's kind of where we dropped off. Uh, this is a fan translation that the uh, subreddit pointed me to uh, from Hadioka, uh, a Tumblr user. So I'm not sure how good a um, source it'll be, how good the translation will be, but it's here and it's early, so we're going to go with it. Uh, our cover page is uh, a picture of the whole Phantom High family, Vincent, Rachel, Sebastian the dog, one of the CLs, and I don't see the other one. That's kind of weird, how there's only one CL there. But it's all like cracked up and like the shards are like dropping, and there's something in Japanese that's not translated. And uh, chapter 134, That Butler Prays. Uh, and then we cut right back to kind of like a, um, I guess, a montage of what happened last time. Uh, December 14th, our 10th birthday. Happy birthday, you too. Happy birthday. And uh, we have Rachel hugging them. Happy birthday, my angels. Uh, the mansion filled with happiness. All the maids, happy birthday. And the chefs. Uh, no, no, that's Tanaka. Tanaka back in the um, kitchen from last month. I shall go there to help you dress up for the dinner party around 6. A special day filled with Mary. Or it should have been. And we cut back to where we were at, uh, 6.43-ish. Uh, no one's around. Why isn't anyone coming? And one of the CLs... I know someone told me you could tell by the way their hair is parted, but I still can't keep which one straight, in all honesty. Uh, why isn't anyone coming? And one CL... I'm gonna say that's a real CL, because we know that his is... That real CL is more bold than our CL. He kind of, like, looks down uh, in concern. Maybe something happened. I'll go look downstairs. You just stay here. I'll go with you. No. This is the role of the first son. Yeah, that's uh, that's a real CL. Uh, and RCL calls after him. CL! And he closes the door behind him. And RCL kind of like sits down on the bed as we hear the clock ticking. It's been a while. Even CL did not return. Maybe something really happened. What to do? What to do? What to do? I'm scared! And the clock chimes out. Uh, I guess it's already 7 o'clock now, I'm guessing. He has bong from the clock. Uh, and Arsene kind of like cowers in fear, and he goes like reach for the doorknob. Anyone? And it's just silent. Uh, and Ciel kind of, like, is completely shivering, and he wanders down the stairs. Ciel! Everyone, where are you? Hello? Anyone? Is anyone there? And he hears some kind of sound. I can't, I can't read the Japanese effects, I don't know what it is. Uh, but it's clearly coming from behind a room. And Ciel goes to, like, reaches for the door, and he opens it. And Dog Sebastian, like, jumps out, but he's muzzled for some reason? I guess, maybe the cult's are, I'm, I'm assuming the cult's already in the manor at this point. We're finally getting to, um, to, um, the plot. Um, I'm guessing they put this muzzle on Sebastian, who is now, like, on top of, uh, Ciel. Sebastian? Or RCL, not real CL. Sebastian? What's that on your mouth? I'll take it off. Just wait. Stay put. And he takes off the muzzle. That's right. Now that I'm with Sebastian, I'm not scared anymore. And Sebastian kind of shakes his head. Let's go find CL together. And Sebastian, like, grips onto the bottom of his shirt and starts tugging. Sebastian? Ugh, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? And CL gets, like, thrown onto the ground. It hurts. Uh, and Sebastian, like, is, lick is licking his face. I, I think... Sebastian knows what, what's happened to everyone. And he's trying to, he's trying to save RCL. And Ciel kind of like looks at him confused. And Sebastian stares at him. Ah, wait for me! And he goes um, running down the hall. And we see um, behind the wall that RCL did not go past is a dead maid. Who's just like, her blood's like way above her and just like drips down to where her corpse lies. And RCL kind of like pants for a uh, breath up, up some kind of stairs. Sebastian, where are you? And he hears some barking. Uh, it's from father's room. And he goes to his father's room. And the door's open. Sebastian? Oh, Sebastian's dead. Sebastian's fucking in like a pool of his blood. Sebastian, what? What happened? And he looks at his... It's wet? And he looks at his hands are now like covered in blood. Ah! Ah! 
and he like rush like falls to the ground, like crawls back, and his hand touches some more blood. Huh? Oh, fa! And father, mother, and yeah, both Vincent and Rachel are like dead in their own blood. We're finally getting to the fucking plot. It's about time, and I hope I hope this chapter doesn't fucking end with this. That'll just piss me off. Blood, you're hurt. Ah, oh, please wake up, father. Ah, ah, ah! And he just keeps freaking out. Help, someone! Everyone is dead. Father and mother are. And he falls onto the ground, tripped by the legs of a dead butler. Oh god! Oh god! We're finally getting there. Ah! And he screams and runs off. Help me, CL Tanaka. Where are you? And he sees light coming in from a door. It looks like. And he steps inside. And it's the the family room, the main room, I guess, with a Christmas tree and a slew of dead maids. And he flashes back to when they were all working on his birthday. And we see that like that nice contrast between the dead maids and wow. Uh, uh, and he drops to his knees and like grabs onto the ground and just screams. Uh, and starts crying. Uh, who's and he hears hears a noise. Who's that? Is someone there? And he runs down, and he sees Tanaka, like, staring at someone. Tanaka! And Tanaka, like, is shocked that he's there. Help me! You shouldn't come here. Please run. Master Ciel is... It's too gr... Wait. Is... Is real Ciel already dead? Master Ciel is... It's too gruesome for you to... Did Tanaka just die? What? And... A knife comes out of Tanaka... As someone's hand grips RCL's face. The start of the worst scenario. Ugh. And we cut to black. And that's that's the end of this month. We finally got somewhere. And this is by far the best chapter. I don't want to put this out there before I get into my like slightly more in-depth analysis. This is the best chapter we've had since 129. Hands down. It's the best we've had since June. And like stuff is happening. Um... Admittedly, we didn't get quite as far as maybe I would have liked for a monthly, because, like, we knew... All we really saw was, um... Vincent and Rachel are dead. And then Tanaka's dead. And CL might be dead already. And, like... Fuck. That that last five pages... Or I think it was five pages. I can't tell, because this translator does not do, um... And the last meaning, like, three pages. Are where the we really see something, like, we didn't already figure. Which was great. Because uh, most of it is just, like, we see the house is empty, and his parents are dead, which we already knew. Um, and there's just a bunch of dead people around, which I kind of figured, for the most part. But then Tanaka, Tanaka might be dead. C- Real CL is probably dead. RCL's been kidnapped by the cult, and shit's hitting the fan next month. Finally. If only it didn't take us, like, three months more than it really should have. I would be a lot happier, but I'm great that stuff is finally happening after months and months of nothing. So yeah, yeah, this was a really good chapter, especially especially comparing it to the last, like, four, where nothing really important happened. Um, beside a little bit of, like, character setup, but, like, nothing in those four chapters could not have been handled in, like, one chapter. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with that. So finally, stuff is happening about fucking time. Um, I am curious how once, um, manga stream and the official translation come out, how that will, like, if any of the dialogue will change, we have a more established translator on here, but, like, I'm taking what I got. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's 134, shit's hitting the fan. People are dying. About time the flashback moves on to its end. Uh, hopefully... Honestly, I don't think next month will be quite the end of the flashback. I think maybe 136. We might go a little bit into 2018. Uh, it would be nice if we end 2017 up with like an extra long chapter that caps up this flashback and then we start 2018 fresh with like the present material. Uh, but we'll have to see what comes of that in months to come. Uh, I'm out of things to say about this chapter. It was... I don't know if I'm saying it was great because I'm just so deprived of anything halfway decent from Black Butler, um, or if I'm, or if it was just a great chapter. It was really good. I don't know if it was quite great, but you know, 
it was a lot of fun. Stuff's finally happening. It was still suspenseful, even though we even though we knew how it was gonna turn out. There was still that element of suspense as CL as RCL wanders um the mansion, only to find everyone is dead. Uh, that was great. And Tanaka might be dead. Real CL might. I know we like the general consensus has been that Real CL dies like summoning Sebastian or around the time they're with the cult, and that's when Real CL dies. But he might already be dead. Like that. I don't think anyone's already had considered that. That he had died like before all of this shit went, or before CL was kidnapped. Um, I don't know. I'm shocked. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for next month. It's been a long time. It's been quite a few months since Butler has gotten me to say I'm really excited for next month. But here we are. Uh, Black Butler is back on top, baby. So I'm gonna leave it here. If you hope you enjoyed the chapter and the video, if you did, drop me a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people. Keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye.